Hello. If everything is going to plan, there should be a time lapse on the screen. <laughs> I think I figured out a way to overlay my voice onto the time lapses, but uh, anyway, the reason I'm talking here is I just want to say uh, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from some of my friends. I show you my channel and a lot of you have been giving me some really positive feedback so uh, and some really good suggestions as well. So I just wanted to say thank you so much. I really appreciate your feedback and your suggestions. And um, yeah, uh, every time I hear that someone enjoyed my video, that uh, makes me very happy because uh, the reason I made this channel is for people to enjoy my videos. I don't really care about like uh, the subscribing or you know the popularity or whatever. I I just want people to enjoy it. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much. I'm really glad you're enjoying, and I'll try to keep the channel and the series uh, going. I've got some really big plans for the world. So that'll that'll last long after the Ender Dragon is beaten and long after end game and all of that. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Let, let's uh roll the time lapse music now.
So uh, I might have made a time lapse before this clip, and I've cr constructed a new room. I also got some item storage as you can see behind me, but look at this. <laughs> the big reveal. Yeah, so I made a farming room for us to grow crops in. I don't know, I think it's kind of nice. I I don't know, I've been doing a lot of redstone lately, so I've kind of gotten out of touch with building, but it's okay. I like the mushroom blocks, so that's cool. Yeah, you can see, here's like the other side of the room. It's pretty nice. It kind of seems fancy, but yeah. Um, sorry, uh, I haven't been able to upload a survival episode lately. I've got some really crazy stuff in the works for the redstone, uh, videos. Got a couple of ideas that I've been working on, so that's where I've been. Anyway, I think today I kind of want to light up the caves around the base. Oh, I also wanted to turn on some shaders so we could see um, what this looks like with those. Very cool. Very nice. Turn on the other shaders. These Now these ones will look way different yes oh look at that that's cool oh I, I also in the mural in the ceiling i used our first ancient debris there that's like supposed to be a nether mural i have no idea why i put it in a farming room but there it is i guess <laughs> i'm gonna take a picture of that that's nice yeah anyway uh in today's episode i'll probably light up the caves around the base um I was thinking of using my alt account to look at the caves, and you're probably thinking like, whoa, dude, that's cheating, why would you do that? And yes, that that's true, but I'm not going to mine any of the ores that I find in the caves, so I, I'll, I'll just like bring a ton of torches, I'll find where the caves are with my alt account, and then I'll light them up, and even if I see diamonds, I won't mine them, and yeah, that way, that way it won't be so like overpowered, you know? But, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So I will probably get ready for that and then make a time lapse of it. I'm all ready to go here. I have equipped myself for the journey. I have tons of carrots, tons of uh, torches and logs and everything. And we are ready to go. So you can see uh, me and my alt are online and I'm just going to look at all of the caves surrounding this area of the base right here so here goes nothing guess we're going to just start this now
Alright, I have lit up most of the surrounding caves, so we will go take a look at those. I'm on my alt account right now, so look at this. You can see from our origin point, which is the main cave, you can see I've lit up a lot of the surrounding area. This will be perfect for when we build our mob farm. Maybe this episode, maybe next episode, I don't know. It's also kind of cool to look at the base. Look at this. You can see this is our cube here. Then, like, that's our farming area. This place is actually pretty close to the surface, you can see. So, yeah, anyway, um... I guess now I kind of want to maybe light up the outside a little bit. So I'll probably get some green carpets and uh, just put some torches below those or whatever. So yeah, I'll be back when I do that. I'm back and I've lit up all, well not all, but a lot of the surrounding area with the carpets. So. You can see in here, I added some carpets on the floor that kind of blend in with the stone to keep that all lit up. We don't have any annoying torch spam around here, which is cool. And then I also added some outside. You can see here they are. Um, there's like a few patches of them around here. It's not really the best coverage but I think it will help I put a bunch up on top of the mountain so hopefully that works out anyway uh, so you're right um, I'm kinda bored of doing boring stuff so that is why we're headed to the nether I have a bastion to raid so yeah it's that one that I was talking about in the last episode I think I think it was the last episode where we raided that one already. I'm pretty sure there's another one like in the opposite direction. Let's go up here and find out. Okay, I'm back and I have found the bastion we're going to be raiding. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, so it's right next to the portal. It took me a little bit to find it, but here, there's the portal. And then if we just walk all the way over here, it's really close. So, yeah, now I'm expecting this one to be a lot harder than the one before that we raided because it probably has more piglins in it. It's, it's like, I think it's partially in... Oh, that was... Oof, sorry. Um, but... <laughs> But it's, it's partially in one of those soul sand... Wait, no, what are they called? The crimson. The crimson biome. So, that might be bad, but it's okay. Because more piglins uh, spawn in the crimson biome. <gasps> oh, no. A piglin brute. Get out of here, please. They aren't scared of the zombie piglins. Get out of here. Yee. Oh my god, these guys are scary. See, look at that. Look at that. Seven, seven hearts. That was seven hearts in one hit. Uh, no, no. I refuse. I'm not fighting you. Actually, I have a bow. Hang on. What am I doing? I'm not scared of you. Ha. <laughs> Should've just used my bow. Most powerful weapon. Oof, that is sad. Wait, did he give me boots? <gasps> Yo, he did, or a helmet. Yes, he did, he did. Thank you for your helmet. I appreciate it. Now I can rob you guys without you even noticing. Hmm, oh, okay. It's fine. <gasps> okay, a chest, our first chest, finally. <laughs> it's been far too long without finding one of these. I don't know where all the the chests in these type of bastions are, so alright. Let's see what we get. Ta-da! <gasps> Yo! A lodestone! Okay, that is actually I really like that. I didn't even know you could find lodestones in these. 
I've not yet memorized the Bastion loot table, but apparent- wow, got a big variety, lodestone. Very cool, okay. Oh no, there's a piglin brute. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, we will kill this guy, nice and easy. Alright, and it's dead, okay. Alright. Yay, yay, yes, treasure, okay. Here we go. Um, what do we get from our first chest? Ooh, pretty much nothing that I want. Great. Second chest. Oh, yes, okay, we got the snout banner pattern. That is really good. That was a pretty decent chest, I guess. We got the one-of-a-kind snout banner pattern, so I would consider that good. And then, maybe there's some kind of staircase, yeah, oh, oh, it's fine, I thought that was a, I thought that guy was going to attack me, it's fine. Okay, yes, more chests. Soul speed to, oh, ancient debris, nice, okay, and more gold, I'll always take more gold, I like that. Uh, I guess we get iron from that, so that's cool. Wait. Chains and an extra crossbow. Okay. So that's not the best, but there is like another one. Ooh, this is where all the piglins are. Ooh, it's fine. I don't think they can get me. Yeah, I, I don't think they can get me. There are two piglin brutes there, though. If I if I fall in that pit, I am dead. So. Oh god, wait, they can get to me? Hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. <sighs> okay, I'm glad I realized that. Before they can... <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Alright, that was scary. Get out of here, guys. You almost made me have a heart attack. Yeah. I think that's all of them. Watch there be another one and then I just die. That's fine. Oh, alright, alright. There's so many crossbows here. Can repair these and make a new crossbow. Ooh, oh, yo, gold blocks, hey. <laughs> wow, three in a row, that's a lot. <gasps> okay, it's fine. Okay. It's dead. That's, that's alright. Oh, hey! Gold block. Man, there's really not much here. Uh. There's a cave over here. <gasps> okay, okay, let's close that off. Uh, okay, that is scary. I've had like three times. Oh, that kind of thing has happened. It's fine. Ah, here we are. Yep, there's the gold. Huh. Alright. <laughs> that was kind of scary. I mean, I had a few points there that were like, oh, no. But, man, th there really weren't that many piglins. That's okay. We still got some pretty decent loot from that. Like, seven gold blocks in total. Yeah, let's go add that to our riches over here and see what we've got. 
six. More of that. Yeah, it looks like, oh, and another piece of ancient debris. That's awesome. The snout banner pattern. The lodestone, right. You could probably use that. Here, I can... I guess I'll get a compass that points to the base now. That would be cool. Um, right, I need a compass. Yeah, so I'm probably thinking of building something this episode. I don't, I don't really know what. Maybe we build a mob farm? Eh, no, maybe... Okay, what if we build a villager thing? I kind of want to build a system for the villagers. Maybe... I don't know. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so now we can... Now we have like a compass that points back to the base. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about what to build and then I'll come back and build part of it. Yeah. I figured out what to build here. Um, it's actually already mostly done, so... Oh wait, first, right, I didn't even show this part yet, so... I dug out a, another tunnel going down here. We can obvi we'll obviously decorate this later, add some actual walls and stuff into it, but anyway. It goes to this place, which is the um, a new room. This one actually... Uh, is like the one that you see when you're in that room over there. So yeah, we're near the bottom of the cave. Anyway, uh, I dug out this room here, tried to make it look like a natural cave, and then this is what I've been working on. So this is our villager place. Uh, you probably already realized from my hotbar that we we're doing villager stuff. Uh, yeah, so I have a few different things to talk about here. First one is um, our zombies. So this is the curing area. The, zo the villagers will sit in these little slots right here. And then if you want to cure one, you just hit the note block and it will actually drop it down. You can see, and that is how the zombie can reach the villager and turn it into a zombie villager that we can then cure. So it's on demand curing whenever we want. So that's cool. Uh, and then you're also probably wondering about the water, so uh, this dispenser controls the water. Uh, this is just for manipulating the zombie, so you can see I can only lure the zombie over to here, and then I have to press this, and you can see it pushes the zombie along, the water does. Alright, over to there. Uh, and then you can see if I press this again, it's some weird like thing with the zombie pathfinding it wants to still go over there even if it's closer over here so you have to send it over here like say I want to send it over to that side then I can activate one of these levers and that will actually send our block over and then there we go our zombie is over here now and yeah so that, that's just all about controlling the zombie uh, this lever does the exact same thing you can see right right over there that block gets extended and retracted and yeah it helps the zombie find his way over to the villagers so that is this is like the curing area this is the part you'll probably see like I'll come here to trade with the villagers and stuff I think it's a okay room it's kind of weird because you have to have like the space for the zombie to see you but anyway if we go up here though this is like the place that I won't normally show on camera because it's kind of it's not decorated but this is where the villagers are, so this is a villager breeder, as you can see up there, that uh, puts villagers into this room, and then I can select them to go down into the slots, just like this, uh, and then to give them food, I actually just built this thing, so I haven't given them any food yet, but, oh, I believe, 
yeah, I can just throw food in here. You can see they, they pick up the food and then tomorrow when it's daytime, they will breed and make new villagers that will grow up and then I can send them into our system here. So I'll probably come back when I've got a villager or two in the system. So, I went and did some real life stuff, AFK'd while these villagers were curing, and here we go. So, I now have three villagers in here, two of them here, uh, one guy over here. Uh, yeah, so, our first guy is an efficiency 5, so that's pretty cool. Started out as 24, like, uncured it was 24, so that was pretty crazy. <laughs> I've never seen one with that low of a trade, but... Yeah, pretty cool there. Our next guy is a Fortune 3 that also gives Bane of Arthropods 5, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, okay. Oh, we got the Binding and Vanishing Curse. That could be useful. Anyway, uh, our next guy over here is a Coal Trader. You can see I'm, I've been using this guy to get emeralds, but... Yeah, so that's pretty cool. We now have villagers we have plenty of emeralds oh and they give such good levels like look i'm already at level 18 that's crazy yeah uh oh and by the way i do have some advice for you before i end the episode if if you if you get anything out of this video i want it to be as follows don't use a spoon to eat chips it just doesn't work Tr trust me there's no need for you to test it out. It simply does not work, okay? Like, no matter the size of the spoon, you cannot eat chips with it, okay? Use a fork or something, but not a spoon. And on that note, I think uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. So, it's been a ton of fun making this one, and I really hope you enjoyed. Alright, bye bye